Hello, this is Jeff. We are playing The Darkness Within 2. The Dark Lineage. Um, so, I'm recording this on December 8th. The reason why I'm saying that is because I realized, because I'm going away on holiday vacation, that I would need to record a whole bunch of things in order for there, for there to be a video. And if I was doing 20 minute sets, that would be okay, but I'm doing 40 minute sets and I don't really I feel like adventure games. I, I like the 40 minute set. It just To me, I'm not sure if it, I was about to say a lot better flow, but I think it just works better overall than having two 20 minute sets Because I don't have to interrupt sometimes there's a lot of reading and I don't have to interrupt that just to say hello goodbye and then Basically, for you guys, it'll be like a video within half an hour, depending, or right away, depending when you see it. So, so there's that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be record, trying to record as much as I can, so there at least will be content. Um, mainly, that means that that question of is it too dark or not, I really, I'm not gonna see your answer. I'm just gonna have to assume that everything is A-OK, -okay, despite the fact that this video, the first the first of this series, hasn't come out yet. Um, so yeah, we have the dead guy over here. We have the book, which I don't even know how to open. I'm gonna investigate outside because I never- I went straight inside. I was worried about the wolves at the door. Okay. So, I'm assuming he's talking about these rocks. Let's well, cap locks. I believe cap, yes, cap locks is for running. A half frozen barrel. Wonderful. A half frozen barrel. There's just a lot of half frozen barrels here. So, all of these are this entire, these, all these rocks, I'm assuming. Okay, you know what? That didn't bring me anything. All right, so now I saw that we did have a hint available. Um, examine, examine. Ooh. This. Right, this is locked. Do we have anything? We have a motor, a m m motor, mo mo you know what? I'm actually not sure if I've ever seen what the right pronunciation for that is. A toy Jeep, camera, map of the area, music box, the book, which I can't open, and I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to open it. it. Says something about not being able to hear the locks, but okay. Since he had found recollections of the past, Dre did probably report it back. I must be quick if I don't want to get caught. Uh. Strangers, could they be from the cult? Ivar is dead. Speaking machine. Circle made of stones. Uh, it's clever to use something luminescent that keeps them concealed without- Oh wait, we need- okay, we need to use a flashlight, right? According to the description in magical signs and sigils throughout history, the sign carved into the stone around the shack should be some kind called an ar- ar- <laughs> Uh, red. There's a color coding. So we need to use the flashlight in order to... No, that's not a flashlight. 
I know we have like we got two flashlights. What? Can't find anything helpful. Okay. Well, nonetheless, let's try the flashlight thing. If that doesn't work out, then I can uh, we can go have a look at that hint that I see is flashing now. This must be one of the stones mentioned in that book. Okay. Very nice, thank you. To right click. No? Damn. Okay. Nothing luminescent. Okay, so straight up right away, this isn't working out. So let's you go back to the lantern. Okay, that's where that sound was coming from. That freaked me out. So how do we get? How do we get it to? Let's hmm, let's read the this thing here. No, that's not the thing. What was the thing? This thing here. Okay. Quicken the process. A uh, machine may still exist, though the Inquisi Inquisition frantically sought to destroy them all. Okay. Consists of ashes. There should be, uh, must be filled with ashes or any other organic remnant. The rest is unclear. Comes with each passing day. Hmm. I'm sure since I should say, so in the last set of the previous game, a lovely user had a, gave me some story information that of course that I had missed out on. Um, I think it's a pretty major thing. I might, instead of reading it now, might save it to the end of this game, possibly. Hopefully I, I remember. But it's not here. What was the thing? Oh, maybe, no wait, was the book? The book was up in the attic. That talked about Very old and completely covered in rust. It wouldn't happen to be the local apparatus, would it? No, didn't think so. Uh, okay. Let's go up. Hello, dead body. Who are you again? You're Drayden. That's not anything I can pick up. I can't pick up any of these. Right. To climb, we just go forward. I don't have to click on anything, you just go forward. Oopsies. Which now that I realize, very impressive that you can hold that lantern <laughs> and uh and climb those steps. Okay. So Here, the book, right? Yes. Okay. So, if the signs need to be invisible, they may be painted with the luminescent. They may be painted with the luminescent matter. Oh, a luminescent matter. This will enable the caster to see them whenever needed, yet make them invisible to others during the morning hours. Although under strong light source, they may become visible again, especially during the nocturnal hours. So under, it says strong light source. Okay. I, let's go for the hint here. Check the stones outside. They may give clues when the strong light object is used. What? Maybe I need to, okay. So I guess I need to check more than one. 
Okay, if I point downwards, I can actually get off the... <laughs> I can get off without, you know, jumping down. Okay, so... I guess... A few of the stones... Oh my god. I don't know why my mouse is reacting like this. Okay, so... Let's go back to the flashlight, because that was a much stronger... This must be one of the st stones mentioned in the book. Okay, that didn't seem to have worked. Oh, please, for the love of God. I mean, the other thing is that either this isn't a strong enough light source. I was more thinking about the the lantern on top. But thank you. Okay, so I don't think this is gonna get us. That sounded super close. Okay, let's try... Let's switch to the lantern. I don't understand how the lantern... do we got? We don't have anything else, so... They may, may get clues when a strong light-producing object is used. Okay. Which to me says the flashlight, right? But... <sighs> the flashlight didn't seem to work unless I'm standing in the wrong spot. It's the only thing I can think of. I better rethink this. Okay. So... Hmm... Wallet. Oh, this is a letter. I don't care about that. Must be one of the stones mentioned in the book. Why well, don't do anything? Okay. Wait, hold on. So maybe I was think so let's Instead of equipping the flashlight, I need to try something else. Okay, how about that? 
Get rid of... Ugh. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to that first flashlight. Oh no, maybe I'm done with that one. What? It says I need to try something else. Okay, let's try the lantern. No, this won't work. Okay. Yeesh. Wait, so the both the flashlights won't work. Am I supposed to create some sort of chemical reaction? Like, I know magnesium, when you burn that, that burns super bright. Can't read the labels of the bottles. There's no label on this one. Sulfuric acid. Water. Hydrochloric acid, neem oil, ineligible, ineligible, or ineligible or illegible? Illegible, I think, would be more accurate. Illegible. Okay. Uh, and then we have in the jar whole. He said, he said, I need something to light my way. Garlic. Harmel. Fennel seeds. Basil leaves. Handbit. Garlic. Heath Aster. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So, what am I using then? See, that's the question. That's the problem I'm having right now. It needs to use a strong light, but the both the lantern and the flashlights don't seem to work. So, I'm just, right now I'm thinking, because we have all these chemicals here, some sort of chemical pro... Uh, some chemical reaction. Whoa! Okay, the table did not like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's just here we go out. I'm thinking some sort of chemical reaction to produce a really strong bright light. Oh, what? Your jar is here. Another flashlight. How many flashlights is this game going to give me? So, didn't want that very specific flash? I rolled tape. It looks moist, but I think it will work. Okay. What am I using this tape for? Oh. No! Oh! It looks like there's something in there. Exam- Nope. Examine. Okay. We collected these rare insects to continue the experiments done by six, done about 60, 80 years ago to enhance the hallucinogenic effects of the Devasha mixture. And they have become dangerous. They killed one of my assistants and another is in a coma now. Their growth speed is unbelievable and they have started to infest the whole underground site. Let me say they. Oh, the, the insects. I know this hallucinogen hallucinogenic mixture by some natives around the world under a different name. It has a very strong effect. Okay. So the, oh, that was a hidden that was a hidden clue. Okay. Their growth speed unbelievable. The reason we keep working with them is this hallucinogenic effect of their venom is 
this hallucinogenic effect of their venom. It can greatly strengthen the impact of Devashsahe, which is already significant but not enough for our needs. We require a stronger version for the human brain, and I believe more potent mixtures once existed but were forgotten over time. I don't know. No, okay. Uh, there is a rumor that speaks of unearthly origins of these insects. I heard this from one of my assistants, and he le learned the story from one of our men. According to the rumor, they were brought to this world from outer space by insect-like creatures that can travel through space with their powerful, powerful wings. These creatures were intelligent, far more intelligent than us. They landed here a long time ago and dug tunnels hundreds of meters underground to gather the metals they needed. I don't know if this is true, and Mr. Kerwin doesn't say a thing about them. These insects are the same as the dead ones found in the strange wooden sculptures. Okay, I think that we can underline, right? Because we... Okay, that, that was also this. So basically, so the dead insect was one of the, these dangerous ones. So, so far a lot of the hidden clues are more in reference to like stuff that happened in the previous game. Uh, but we needed living ones, so we brought just a few to make a special synthetic mi mixture that imitates the substance the insects use to build nests in their original habitat. We covered the walls of the chamber with this adhesive mixture, and it was successful. Soon they started to build their own nests, but then with their incredible growth speed, they started to produce their own natural mixture. Now there are a lot of various sized nests in the site along with the ones we place. They are building them with, a, with an alarming speed. With their numbers starting started to increase, they began to get aggressive and attack us. We tried to control them by killing some, but soon realized this wasn't a viable option. It seems there is a complex, complex synth between them between them if you kill the wrong one or even disturb them they attack whoever draws near they even attack their own nest since they are very rare and valuable insects we dare not kill them blindly and risk complete failure through the loss of their nest in fact any damage to the insects was banned by mr. Kerwin I actually believe there are more important things they're, they are more important to him than us, so I don't want to draw his horrible anger to myself by doing something stupid. Uh, as for the effect of their venom, a single bite doesn't kill anyone except possibly those allergic to their venom. But a high dose of venom causes delirium, severe muscle spasms, and even death. Thankfully, after several tries, they managed to prepare something that can ward them off. I pounded henbit... Rue, heth aster basil in germanium pants inside the motor and pestle. Okay, <laughs> in order to prepare it, I must mix henbit, rue, heth aster basil with water. Okay, when this mixture is sprayed onto them, they immediately fly away. The effect is temporary, but this is a solution for now until something better is found. No? Okay, so we have two more hints in this. They greatly strengthen the... Okay, so we need to find clue that's more relevant. So anything referring to past game seems to be a hidden clue thus far and then um then we have just the regular clues that should be helping us on our journey i really like the fact that they tell us how many clues will be in a thing and of course if you happen to find a hidden clue then you'll know that there's more or you found all of them so on earthly origins i really can't see this being anything in this paragraph, I mean, who knows? 
it kind of went kind of went wonky with the whole alien thing. Imitate the substance? No. And soon they start to build their own nest, but with then crib grew speed. An alarming speed. Convince could attack us. Rare, valuable insects. Maybe the, what the effects are. This is bad, I must be careful not to disturb the insects if there are any left. I hope they are all gone. Okay. Effect temporary. No? Okay. Just gotta be sure. Okay, so we have one more thing. So, so far, everything seems to be about the insects themselves. Maybe the first clue is the location. I mean, I think I already, no, I already tried this one. Collect for insects, no. Here we go, the whole underground site, maybe. No? Okay. Uh. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's, come on. It can greatly strengthen the impact. Okay, maybe the, we require a stronger version for the human brain. No? What am I missing here? At this point, it's going to be Please don't let it be something in this weird. <sighs> okay, come on, there's one more clue somewhere. Imitates the substance. Okay, we covered the walls. Building them with incredible speed. When this mixture is sprayed, they immediately fly away. No? Okay. Uh, when their numbers start to increase, they begin to get aggressive. If you kill the wrong one or even disturb them, you attack whoever draws near. Even attack their own nests. 
No. Uh. Dare not kill them blindly. How about the, sorry, risk complete failure through the loss of their nest. Nope, okay. Um, yeah. Now I feel like I underlined everything, but this is the part where I'm not quite sure where the game, or maybe, I don't think I tried that part in the beginning. Like it, these rare insects continue experiments done 80 years ago and they have become dangerous. Oh. That was it. People were killed by the insects. Okay, so we finally got all the clues. So I'm just checking my time. So. Now we know the, 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 what that mixture is supposed to be. And we got a flashlight. Brr, you want, let's hold off on the mixture. We got the flashlight now. Come on. Uh, so we have the flashlight. The flashlight that is in this cabin, more specifically. Excuse me. I need to try something else. Like what? Oh, how come a roll of tape can... Where in the world, why in the world does a real, a tape come into play in this? It's flashing at us, which is the weird part. Okay. Uh, huh. this back. I mean, it's just a regular roll of tape. Huh. I mean, what are we doing? Are we tying all three flashlights together? Like... I can't think of anything else helpful. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying. Make the mixture then, because at least I know I can do that. Oh, no, 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 don't use the flashlight. Use the... Use this. Hello, table. All right, so turns out I had one of the mixtures in here. Maybe that was me playing around, but it was correct. Good, it puts it back. Can I, like... Insect bite. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see what the thing was. Let's get rid of these. So here we go. In order to prepare, I must mix henbit, rue, heath aster, basil, and geranium with water, alcohol, and neem oil. Hambit Rue Heath Aster. So I, I did the Heath Aster. We got the Henbit. It's fennel seeds. Uh, I know the said basil. Thyme. This is Harmel. Fennel seeds, ten bit. Okay, so ten bit, heath aster, basil. So I need rue geranium water. Rue geranium water. Rue and geran geranium, right there. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So we have basil, rue, geranium, heath aster, henbit. So now I think it's just the liquid ingredients left, which is water, neem oil, and, and alcohol. Water, one, two, three, four, five. Water, alcohol, nem, nem oil. Nem oil? I'm gonna assume. Oh, shoot, I didn't need to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so. Water. Oh. Go figure. I need to put some liquid in it. What? Sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid. Uh, I need something to. I need something to put liquid in it. So we can't we can't just use the motor and pestle. We have to maybe find oh shoot. Nope. I close, close, close. Can we use these? Unless I take alcohol. So how come I can't mix the... Okay, so I very specifically, it looks like, need something, a container of sorts to hold the liquid itself. Why we just can't put a few drops in the in in the mortar and pestle. I have no idea why. Oh, this, which I can't pick up, but well, you know would be awesome. Oh, hello. What? Tombstone. Coal Namahe Derby. This is old. What is a tombstone doing here? Can this tombstone move? Okay. I need something where this the liquid can be put into. Examine. Hydrochloric acid. 
Is it all going to be hydrochloric acid? Right. Can we use... Are we going to have to, like, use the hydrochloric acid to, like... Because this thing still... We still can't open. Okay. Uh, I'm out of time. So... We got the nem, or no, we got the, we got the dry ingredients thus far. For some reason, it looks like I need some sort of container. Yeah, it re absolutely refuses to do anything. So no label, no label. Yeah, okay. So I need a container of some sort in order to hold that liquid. Or like, I don't know what they want from me, a cauldron. Sorry, I'm just like too busy investigating here. locked I don't even know what I'm looking at is that drawer okay so yeah there's various things I had missed uh, I'm gonna have to end set here so thank you for liking if you like thank you for commenting if you commented Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. Until next time guys, see ya!